the channel and in this video I'm finally going to be reviewing something that I've been wanting to review for a very long time because just the wave of nostalgia coming off this thing is just awesome. We're going to review the tiny Atari 2600. Yeah this thing is just way too adorable. I can't not review this thing. It's just so cute. It's got you know fake little wood grain. Let's take it over to the desk and look at it. Okay so we have here the world's smallest Atari 2600 from Tiny Arcade. So this is basically made by the same company that uh, did the uh, Tiny Arcade uh, Galaga I reviewed a while ago on the channel. Um, and this thing is just, I don't know, like as nostalgic as I am about Galaga, um, it's not the best way to play Galaga because it's way too of a fast paced game. And that kind of has me worried about this too because too many fast moving things on the screen kind of made the sound clip. But um, the smallest fully functioning desktop console game includes one 2600 console with 10 pre programmed games, one TV, one joystick, nine Atari games, including the bonus Pac Man game. High resolution classic console TV, classic 2600 console, the iconic joystick, an adjustable screen for optimal gameplay. Can the Xbox One do that? Uh, what games do we have? Centipede, Pong, Missile Command, Breakout, Asteroids, Combat, Warlords, Mini Millipede, and Tempest. Plus bonus Pac-Man. Oh yeah, this is awesome. We need to open this. Okay. What did we have here? Upside down. No, our head up. Uh, let's see, we have collectible mini toys. World's smallest Hot Wheels, tiny arcade, precision rubber band gun, a, f a finger size dance dance revolution. That's interesting. That little mini thing there. So I've seen those before. I don't remember who who uh, did a video on them. I believe it might have been... Oh God, was it David Murray? The Epic guy? Or maybe not, he didn't maybe not review it. Maybe he talked about it. Uh, World's Smallest G.I. Joe. Horror Icons. Ninja Turtles. Bob Ross. Yeah. So just... They, they're, they're, their gimmick is like World's Smallest. And they're just itty bitty teeny tiny. Um, I've seen them before at like novelty stores and uh, stuff like that. Ooh. Ooh. I love this. Just just as aesthetic in total. You get the fake wood grain, which I would love to have down here in the basement. You got that really, oh God, that gorgeous, you know, shag carpet design. A way to not destroy it. Nope, they basically managed to so destroy the package to get it out. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh my god. Oh, I love the faux the the faux knobs on it. That fake wood grain. So what's funny is that. Um, my earliest memories of like playing the uh, Nintendo and the uh, even the Super Nintendo. My grandparents had one of those big, massive like console TVs, all wood grain, you know, with the fake drawers and the fake everything on it. This reminds me so much of it. It wasn't this big or like this design, but that's actually pretty nice. Oh, got little legs. Got the little legs. That's adorable. And we have the, uh, oh, we, they even added a fake switch box. Oh, that's an attention to detail I love. Switches work? No, but that button does. How's the joystick feel? 
Oh my god. <laughs> that is adorable. Okay, let's try it out. Turn on the TV for optimal viewing pleasure. Press start. I can't barely read that. Oh, that's, wait, wait, is it backwards? Up goes down. Why does? Let's try Pac-Man. Oh my god. I can barely see what Pac-Man is. Okay, so that resets it. Cool. Okay, so that was actually really annoying because it was running so slow that like it was almost like the game was in slow motion. Like, okay. Let's try um try Pong. Does it feels like it's running in like slow motion? Oops. Cool. Okay, so I don't know if you could see it, but because it, the thing is just yeah. every time there'd be a sound effect, the screen would kind of flicker for a split second. Like, I, I don't know what that's about. Um, don't know why it's going up when I click. Let's try asteroids. High scores, none. Oh, geez. Oh. Ah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not going to play through um, all the games because I, I'm not really too... I'm a little familiar with the other games, but... This thing is actually just really strange. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is actually pretty fun, but it's definitely not like, you know, like if I wanna play an Atari game, especially these Atari games, I have other ways to play them. I have, uh, like I have, like I have uh, the actual Atari games um, on my shelf over there. Um, I have them in some different collections. I don't have the, uh, I want to get the, the new Atari 50th anniversary collection. I want that so bad. But yeah, this isn't like the best way to play Atari games. It's more of like, a, you know, it definitely appeals to like uh, us retro gamers that maybe, you know, maybe both grew up on the Atari or had some sort of family member that had an Atari or we have some members of the Atari like I do I've played the Atari before my dad had one I played with him off and on um it's now mine uh, I've been adding games to, the, to it for a while um and it, there's a lot of nostalgia for this thing and it's, it's a neat little nostalgic piece here I mean obviously the controller here is you know kind of oversized in relation to the Atari and even then the Atari is kind of massive in relation to the TV but you know, it's, it's a very nice little, it's, it's a cute little thing. It's not great. I mean, obviously the joystick is 
It's it's a clicky, like almost like a almost like you could almost feel it be like a directional pad. That button is extremely clicky. And obviously the switches don't work, but those are you know those get broken like in a second. But it's really neat that they were able to you know I mean yeah the Atari games aren't you know huge. I think they only took up maybe. God, somebody correct me, like 8 kilobyte of RAM or a kilobyte of me memory. Like, they, they didn't dig up much. And in fact, I don't even think these are the original games or the original ROMs. I think this is like some sort of like small little I mean, FPGA or I don't think it's a, a NOAC or Nintendo on a chip. I don't think it's one of those. Those do feel like they're the Nintendo versions um, of the games. They don't feel like they're the Atari versions, as I can tell. But yeah, it's, it's a neat little thing. Like something you put on your desk or something to have like on a shelf. Maybe take it down once in a while and, you know, get your quick Pac-Man or combat fix. But this screen is just so small and it suffers the same problem as the Galaga thing. Too much stuff going on screen and it just slows down. Uh, and this was actually having slowdowns with not that much stuff going on. Like Asteroids didn't have that much stuff going on. Um, the sounds are a little bit off, but, you know, it's... It's a neat little gimmicky thing. I mean, obviously, I don't even remember how much it was at Target. I don't even remember how much the thing was, to be honest. I think I got it on clearance. But yeah, it's a neat little thing. Um, so yeah, if you're have any nostalgic about the uh, Atari or anything like that, it's a neat little gift. It'd be like a stocking stuffer or something for like dad or your uncle or maybe even your older brother or something if you, or even you, because it, you know, it's a neat little throwback. But yeah, so that being said, thanks everyone for watching this video. Um, if you, um, I, I can play any of these actual games on the actual Atari if you guys want to see it. Um, just let me know, put down in the comments. Uh, if you want to see more content, hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload more uh, content. Uh, you don't have to, but it does help the channel grow so that I can make bigger and better videos in the future. So yeah, that being said, thanks everyone for watching the video and checking out this little mini Atari with me. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.